Hello there. So I'm going to show you guys how you can wear clothing and armor at the same time, utilizing two bugs that are in the game at the moment. Uh, this allows you to wear, because you can wear clothing and armor at the same time, you can kind of get really kind of cool, unique looks like these ones I've been showing. So without any more waffle, let's go ahead and I'll show you how you do this. So step one, you're going to need an invisible undersuit. Now, that might seem a bit difficult. How do you find an invisible wonder suit if it's invisible? <laughs> anyway, so you're going to want to go to one of the new outposts that have been added in 3.22. Um, and you're going to look for a very specific NPC. That's going to be one of the combat variants, not the kind of civilians that walk around these new uh, derelict towns or settlements, wherever they're called. Um, as you can see, this is the one we want. You can tell because the person is wearing armor, but you can also see a little bit of skin under them. So that's the one. So first things first, you're going to want to ask them very nicely to, with their consent, to go to sleep. And you're going to want to remove all the items off their character, all their clothing, all their armor, so that they're just straight up in their birthday suit. Now you might notice as I'm looting this, there's no undersuit here in the inventory. Now the PTU for this patch, that it was there and you could wear, you could loot that undersuit and wear it. But with 322 going live, that was no longer the case. And it was my assumption that he'd fixed it, but I found out apparently they didn't. CIG just got kind of sneaky and hid it. So once you've removed all the items, uh, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you're also in your birthday suit, you can't be wearing anything. And if you go ahead and kind of hover over their body, you'll notice there's this placeholder and you just go ahead and click and click and just go ahead and click wear. And that's you. You're now wearing an invisible undersuit. So you can go ahead and put a helmet on and that's you, you're airtight. You can go around flying in space, looking completely naked, except for you obviously need a helmet. There's no invisible helmet. So that's step one. We have the undersuit. Now, uh, you can't drag this undersuit off you. So you're going to need an another undersuit to re-equip onto you. Uh, when it does that, you will get an, you will get the undersuit in your inventory. You can see it. It just has the little box. It doesn't actually show anything. So that you will require a normal undersuit to do this, just to get the, the invisible one off. Also, picking a derelict settlement that has local inventory kind of makes it a little easier uh, just to like drag it off into their inventory rather than drop it on the floor. Uh, so anyway, now that we've got the undersuit, that's step one complete. Now step two. Right, so the second bug, the second part of this uh, system is that you want to make sure you're on a ship it's not required it just makes it easy having a separate inventory system um put the clothing items that you want to wear combined with your armor so make sure to put that stuff in the ship's inventory it's just it's going to make it a lot easier um put your under your like invisible undersuit on the ground ideally you put it somewhere a bit higher like on a table or on a railing somewhere kind of chest tight it just makes it a little easier um now if you scroll your mouse over the invisible undersuit you'll notice there's like two options there's a carry and equip basically you want to keep your mouse cursor on th that text and move away from the box. Uh, ideal if you scroll your mouse wheel all the way down so you walk slowly back and as you just keep the mouse cursor on that text because if you take it off it will disappear and you just you keep backing up, backing up and backing up until you're a good distance. You don't have to be too far away and once you hit equip your character will start walking towards that box to pick up and equip it to your character. Now, while it's doing that walking towards the box, you click I to open your inventory and you start spamming all the clothing items that you want to wear onto your character. So by the time your character reaches that box, you're now wearing all the clothing you want. The character will pick up that box and equip the undersuit. And then you can just go ahead and start equipping armor on top of that undersuit like you would do any other undersuit. But obviously you're already wearing clothing, so that's how you do it. But now you can now wear clothing and the undersuit and armor, uh, sorry, at the exact same time. That's basically how this whole thing works. Now, a couple of things to point out. If you remove one of the clothing items and like move it to your inventory, you will not be able to put that clothing item right back onto your character. And once it's off, it's off. Uh, you have to repeat the whole step to, to re-equip that clothing. You're gonna have to like strip right down naked, do the whole animation thing and quickly put all the clothing back on. So bear that in mind. Um, you can have a hat and put a helmet on and the hat will just disappear. And then you can take the helmet off so you don't have to take the hat off. It just kind of automatically hides itself with some helmets. Uh, Obviously, there's also the issue of some clothing and some armor will not complement one another. Uh, they would kind of clip into one another and they just look bad. So bear that in mind, you're going to have to do a bit of science. Like, oh, okay, this bit of armor doesn't work with this bit of clothing. This bit of clothing doesn't work with this bit of armor. It's just a bit of like trying to find the right combination to what you want to look like. Now, to give credit where credit's due, 
I did not discover this. I learned it from Expat this weekend when playing for her, and she learned it from a person in Jen Desperado's community who she was playing with Jen uh, earlier on that day, or the day before, I believe. I'm not quite sure. Um, but she learned it from somebody in his community. So make sure to give Expat a follow and Jen Desperado a follow. They are awesome Star Citizen community streamers content creators all that kind of stuff check them out uh, if i find out the person's name who she found out from in jen's community i will have that person's name in the description so give them credit i'm not sure who it is but i will obviously obviously add that in but make sure to check out jen and expat links in the description uh, if you liked the video thumbs up thumbs down leave a comment all that stuff and i hope this uh, helps you make kind of really cool combinations and looks um, it'd be nice if this wasn't a bug related thing and they allowed you to wear clothing and armor and you could just click the clothing and go hide like a lot of cosmetic cosmetic items and other mmos and other multiplayer games you can just hide that stuff um that'd be awesome if we had that star citizen i don't think we'll get it but who knows anyway catch you in the next video and have a great rest of your day peace out